Hey, so I recently decided to fire up the 3D printer again and I was looking for things to print and I love models resource because it has a lot of rips from old games and one of my favorite old games to get models from is LSD Dream Emulator. It's got some weird models in it and um, this one in particular looked like a fun thing to print. I was just going to paint it black and then put it on a shelf somewhere. thought that'd be neat. And so I uh, just download the zip archive and then I'm going to show in Houdini how I'm going to clean up this topology uh, for 3D printing. And so for starters I have a geo context here and I'm going to bring in the model with Labs OBJ importer. I should mention I do have this OBJ importer materials fix. Um, if you want to bring in um, OBJs with the textures applied you can use that and if you want that um, feel free to leave a comment and I'll send you the drive link. Um, normally this would be in my shelf, which I uh, distribute, but um, some stuff screwed up with um, the hosting of that right now, so um, just let me know if you want that. But for now I'm just going to bring in this model right here, um, and here we go, we can see this. And so first of all, why is this not going to work for 3D printing? Um, you know, it needs to be closed. So these uh, openings, these holes down at the bottom here on the feet and the ankles and the bottom of the cloak aren't going to work. Also, uh, the hat is completely flat, um, no thickness, so we need to extrude that a little bit to get it printing. So um, let's look right off the bat, what am I going to do here? I'm going to first do a transform um, and get that thing uh, rotated 90 degrees. I'm also going to scale it down to um, like 1%. That's going to make it a more reasonable size. Um, remember, these are in meters. <clears throat> so this isn't really like a human size, but um, you know better than 600 meters or whatever. So next thing I'm gonna add a color right here and um, Let's make it white. That'll just make it a little easier to work with. Another thing you can do is you go into your display properties and uh, if you go to geometry This wire blend right here. This will make their wires like stand out a little bit more. So I like doing that um, In the uh, wireframe overlay mode um, so now um, let's see uh, where do we start with this. So um, I am using this node uh, labs um, fast group unshared. Uh, this will show me the unshared edges um, and each one of these is representing um, you know discontinuity in the model which will cause errors for 3D printing. So um, right off the bat I can just add a fuse right here and this will get rid of most of them so these ones at the bottom here that remain these are kind of obvious that's because these are you know open holes these ones up here at the hat brim are not so obvious um, so I'm gonna start off with dealing with this hat brim and I should mention um, I'm really trying to preserve this original um, topology the low the low poly look and um, you know you can do all sorts of messing with the model and just throw on a voxelize or something like that or a remesh, um, but that can introduce artifacts and I'm um, trying to maintain this original structure. Obviously Houdini's not the best tool for this um, kind of thing, but um, I'm determined to make it work for some reason. So this took me a little bit of fiddling with it to get it working. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will be helpful for somebody else who wants to do some like direct modeling type manipulation in here um, and understanding how to do that. Um, so let's start off with this hat. So what we're going to do here is do a poly extrude on this thing. And um, I am going to select a group and that group I'm selecting is going to be edges. And I'm going to select these edges and outside here. I want to mention um, it's important to use the select visible geometry only um, just so you don't end up accidentally selecting things that you didn't mean to. So um, let's select these edges here and then press enter and then um, rather than using this extrude distance here which doesn't really work I'm going to use um, transform extruded front and as soon as I check that if I press enter I get this transform handle here. Um, and so I'm just going to move these up just a smidge like about there that should be fine um, and um, yeah so one thing I should mention um, sometimes these edges right down here will these faces will be facing the wrong direction this seems to depend on the order in which you select the edges um, and it's sort of random so 
don't worry too much about that. Um, we can always throw down a reverse. Um, and next thing we're going to do is put on a polyfill here. And with this polyfill, I'm actually specifically going to specify these edges right here. I want to make a closure for those and then press enter. And then quadrilaterals doesn't work, so let's do triangles. <clears throat> okay. Um, and you can see that it's just basically uh, the wrong direction, um, which we can pretty much, if we just want to be lazy, we can just fix this with a reverse node real quick. Um, let's just pick these, dip, 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 dip. And then these ones also there, and that'll do it. So um, now let's look at our uh, unshared edges now. Uh, so yeah, we still have a bunch of unshared edges basically. Um, and these, these faces at the top here are totally intersecting through the hat. So uh, we need to combine uh, this added geometry with the existing one somehow. And for this, I'm going to use a Boolean. And um, what I found worked was to split the geometry. So I'm gonna split out the hat brim from the rest of it real quick like this and also including the underside uh, like that and oops sorry sometimes my uh, there we go so I'm pretty sure that's correct and then press enter yeah and this is looking pretty good we got our hat brim with the hole at the bottom and now remember the first one here is going to represent the hat because that's what I selected or the hat brim and then the second is going to represent the rest of the model so I want to add a boolean here uh, set to boolean union and I want to take the rest of the model and then bring in this hat geometry. So, and then um, now you can see if we look in wireframe mode, these are union together. They're not intersecting anymore. And if we try this fast, un uh, fast group unshared node, we can see that. Um, sorry, what's going on here? Let's see what we got. The unshared ones. Okay, so why does it seem? Oh wow, so we got an issue here. Um, now, why is that happening? I certainly wonder. I wonder if I didn't, if I missed, yeah, I think I missed that with my split, my bad. So, um, and I may have also missed that with my reverse for some reason too, I think I did. Okay, so let's see if this is looking better now. Yeah, so um yeah so okay so none of these ones at the top here are unshared anymore um only the ones at the bottom so that's really good we've dealt with the top and now the bottom is actually a lot easier um i can just throw down a polyfill and it'll auto detect these holes if it doesn't auto detect the holes um you can either use the manual boundary group selection or if you want the most manual thing possible you can use topo build which um it really works to just draw triangles around it. Um, and yeah, so now we've polyfilled all those holes. And if we look down here, we should have no unshared edges, which it appears we, oh, okay, I guess we do have four unshared edges. Where are my unshared edges? Let's see right here. So some stuff with the back of this leg. All right, that's fine. Um, but. Anyway, the legs aren't going to work for the, the feet aren't going to work for 3D printing either because there's not really enough of a connection here between the feet and the ankles. So what I want to do is just um, basically transform those upwards a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to throw in a transform right here. And oops, uh, I'm going to select those polys at the oh sorry this is a selection um yeah this should okay that did not do what i wanted let's see right here if i can get all these oh what the hell oh i think i need to turn this one off right now okay um yeah that'll do it and then i just press enter and then i'm just going to um move these up just a smidge so they're more intersecting there and then um, since you know now we have more intersecting geometry now I can just do a simple oh, we also have intersecting geometry up here with the ankles so I can just do a simple um, self boolean on this which will um, get rid of those and yeah so now you know as you see no more intersects and um, we do our fast group unshared edges 
we should ideally not have any at all. Yeah, zero unshared edges. So that's pretty much the gist of it. So this is the modified model, which should be suitable for 3D printing. Uh, hopefully those techniques were helpful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there.